Rain, thunder, and very high winds ripped through Teleco Village in the early morning hours of April 1, 2023. One resident looked out his window and saw the earth literally heaving at a base of a large pine tree. It looked like the tree was about to uproot and come crashing down, potentially causing serious damage to nearby structures and landscaping. If the roots of the tree are near underground utilities, like electric lines, those facilities could be at risk too. So what's the impact of these storms on public works and on the community? And what should you do when you're concerned about impacted trees? We will address these questions during this video. I'm here with Clayton Taylor, Director of Public Works for the POA, and we have been riddled with storms. Clayton, can you tell us what the impact of these storms has been on Teleco Village? Yeah, with all these storms that we've been having, we're even going back into February with our water table and the rains that we've had, the ground is so saturated with water. Then you get the high winds, then you get trees that are blowing over. We've had a lot blow over, we've had a lot break. We've had probably 200, 250 trees in the last couple of months that we've had to deal with. So that's a huge financial impact on the POA because we've got men working overtime coming in to check on those trees, getting trees out of the road, getting trees out of people's yard, and then we continue to look at those trees that are dead, dying, diseased, endangering homes. A lot of the trees that, that Public Works guys are able to cut, but some of those are so dangerous that we have to have tree services come in and cut those. So it is a huge impact and expense on the Public Works Department. And I imagine it's been keeping you pretty busy. Oh, absolutely, because not just from what we're cleaning up, property owners are cleaning up damage that they have on their property, so then that's more brush out at the street for the brush crews to pick up. So we've had two brush trucks out working overtime trying to get the brush cleaned up from the streets. Sounds like you guys are working and the community's working with you too. Yeah, and we're blessed. You know, we, we have such a good uh, group of property owners here, homeowners in the village that they're really understanding. A lot of people would get mad and start screaming and yelling, but they're understanding. They know we're working, doing everything that we can. And we've been blessed that the POA has furnished us with some great equipment to work with over the years. So what's happening in your yard? Who should you contact if you're concerned about trees? Well, it turns out the answer is, it depends. You can consult the Blue Book on the Teleco Village POA website, but wait, there's more. I'm here with Matthew Johnson, Public Works Manager for Teleco Village. What should we do if we're concerned about a tree potentially falling down? Sure, so what you wanna do is contact the POA office. Now, if this is a tree on your own property, of course, that's something that you would wanna take care of yourself. You would uh, contact a local tree service uh, or landscaper, someone who could do the work for you, or uh, some individuals. If it's just, just a small little tree, they'll take care of it themselves. But if it's if it's on Public Works or POA property, uh, then you would want to call the office and let them know that you have a tree you're concerned about. Now, what we look for are trees that are dead, dying, and diseased, or diseased, that are a direct danger to someone's property. Um, so. That's what we'd look for when we come out. We would come out and see, okay, is this tree, is it alive? What's the concern? Uh, is it leaning excessively? Uh, does it appear to be diseased? Are there some issues that may cause this tree to be a danger to this home? So that's what we look for when we come out. And if it were to be on a, on a weekend or after hours when our guys have gone home, then what you would want to do is call the office just like you normally would and uh, you'll, get, uh, you'll get our service, our answering service. And then at that point, our answer, answering service will immediately contact uh, our guys that are on call, and then those guys will come out, and they'll assess the situation. They'll give you a phone call a lot of times to, to you know, find out what's going on sometimes. But they'll come out, and they'll assess the situation. If it's something that they need to take care of immediately, then they'll go ahead and, and do that. If they need to call in for some help, they'll call in some help. Uh, if it's something that they look at that uh, maybe it's not causing any imminent danger at that time, they may say, hey, we'll come back and get this the next work day, the next business day. Uh, but, but there are guys that are on call that can come out and take, a care, take care of that for you. What if you're not sure what property the tree is on? They can call our office and they'll have one of our guys, and sometimes that's me, yeah. will come out and take a look and try to make a determination as to 
what property this is on. Sometimes it's on a neighboring property that belongs to someone else. Sometimes it may be on the common property that's behind or even beside, in some cases, uh, another property. But we can come out and try to pinpoint that for them. We don't mark property lines and we don't determine property lines, but sometimes there's some things that we can go by that we can tell, uh, okay, this is on common property or this is on a neighboring property and so forth. What if the tree is on golf front or lakefront property? Concerning golf course, golf course property, um, I know the question of golf course easement comes up a lot and people think, well, if it's in my golf course easement, I can't take a tree out. That's not necessarily true. You have to understand the determination of what is the golf course easement. The golf course easement is on your property. That's just a 20 foot easement from your property line to the inside of the property where they don't want you know, certain hardscapes and things in. But as far as a tree that is inside your property line, if it's on your property, whether it's in that easement area or not, you can have it removed. However, if the tree is across your property line and it's on golf course property, uh, maybe it's in the out of bounds area, maybe it's in a wooded area or whatever, then you would need to contact Public Works again or the golf course uh, because a lot of times when it comes to golf course trees, we, re we will refer people to that particular golf course, whether it be Tenassee, Toqua, Cahiti. Uh, and that way the, uh, the maintenance personnel from there can kind of give them some guidance on what they can do with certain trees. And what about on lakefront property? Lakefront property is a little different. Um, anything below what people that live on the lake know to be the 820, and that's an elevation number. That has to do with uh, 820 feet above sea level. That's, uh, that is TVA property. Uh, so anything below the 820 line being TVA property, they would have to get permission from the TVA to remove a tree. There was a lot of damage last spring from the storms. We asked Matt if he could tell us something about the power lines along 444. Yes, the power lines across along 444 uh, did suffer some damage to some trees. And as a result of that, Loudoun Utilities uh, has rerouted some of those power lines uh, to try to help avert some of that in the future. So there you have it, folks. Stormy weather makes us take notice and act to maintain our safety and infrastructure. In the case of a tree emergency, if there is bodily injury, of course you need to call 911. If there is damage to your house or property, then you're going to want to call your insurance company and a tree service. If the concerning tree might be on golf course property, call Public Works or the golf course superintendent. If the concerning tree is below the 820 line on the waterfront, then call the TVA. If you're not sure whether the tree is on your property, then call Public Works. Finally, know that the POA, community partners, and you are working together to make our Teleco Village a safe and beautiful place to live. Thank you for watching Teleco Village Network, your lens on what's happening in and around Teleco Village.